Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick review and demo of this Ola Henriksen Balanced Skincare line that was sent to me for free by Influencer. I'll leave Influencer details down below if you're interested. I'm really excited I got this box because it's exactly for my skin type, which is combination oily, acne prone skin. I'll leave the products link below, so let's just jump right into it. This is the Find Your Balance Oil Control Cleanser. It has five ounces and retails for $25. It has a eucalyptus peppermint scent, which gives the skin a cool sensation this scent is actually all across the line so I really enjoy it for that it's the perfect pick-me-up for the morning this has replaced my previous morning skincare routine a little goes a long way as I only use a pea size amount on my Sephora brand flexible silicone pad and I'll link that down below too this cleanser lathers well and leaves a hydrating feeling it also has salicylic glycolic and lactic acids blah, 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 that was a mouthful that helps treat acne and lighten marks over time it doesn't strip the skin of any oils or anything it doesn't leave any type of residue next is the balancing force oil control toner it has 6.5 ounces and retails for $26 this toner really freshens the complexion without stripping the skin and it removes excess oil and anything I miss during cleansing this toner leaves the skin with a matte finish and I really concentrate this product on my problem areas like my T-zone and my cheeks and where my acne is most active. And last is the Counterbalance Oil Control Hydrator. It has 1.7 ounces and it retails for $34. I'm not sure why the price is not around the same range as the other two, but anyways. This moisturizer is lightweight and helps reduce my oil production. It does not have a mattifying effect on the skin because it is kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say dewy, but it leaves kind of a healthy looking glow without looking greasy. And this whole line really sets well underneath makeup, which I actually enjoy. The only negative I do have to say about this moisturizer is that it does not have an SPF. So I'm having to create a moisturizer cocktail by adding in a small amount of my Murad Oil Control Mattifier SPF 15. I really wish they would just reformulate it and just add an SPF, please. <laughs> so that is it for my review. I also have an in-depth review on my Instagram on each of these products. Overall, I'm impressed with this line as it addresses most of my skincare concerns besides SPF, but I totally stand by this line and I will be repurchasing in the future. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already. Have a blessed day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!